The mail is here. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Red Box. Today's episode is opening my mail. Um, every now and then, I get lots of goodies in the post. Uh, that's because I go all over to these um, different places online, uh, such as eBay and uh, online shops, to try to find some cards that are missing in my collection. Um, all different rarities and, and also some other goodies, some other items for my collection. I collect a lot of stuff related to Pokemon, but I also collect um, other stuff. So I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I think all of these are Pokemon goodies, Pokemon posts. But um, if not, because I haven't opened any of these things, if not, then you get to see a little bit of my other collections. As you can see, I took the liberty of... Um, crossing all the, the addresses, all the information out of the boxes and the envelopes. It's uh, more private that way. But if you guys want to know where I get my stuff, please leave a comment below and uh, I'll make sure to answer. So, we will start with the envelopes, I think. Uh, so, mostly cards, if not all. I think it, all of these are cards. So, basically, I, I get a lot of singles to complete my collections. Uh, and I got my folders here, so I have different folders with different names. Today I have here my Pokedex and Pokedex Hollow, Pokedex Reverse Hollow, uh, my base set collection, which I mentioned before in an episode, and I have noticed now that um, some of the cards were not in the best shape, so I wanted to keep them uh, all in the same type of condition, and I think I, I got also a few of those in the post as well. Let's start opening up um, these bad boys. The first one is coming from the UK. Um, let's see what we got from the UK. Got a few singles. I'm gonna put them in a way that... Oh, uh -huh. I was gonna put them in the way that we don't see them, but these top loaders contain several um, different ones. And we have gotten... Can you see? Yes. We have gotten Entei non-holographic, Flygon non-holographic, Swalot non-holographic, and Kingdra non-holographic. I know what you might be thinking, these are not such rare cards that uh, you would get very excited about, but trust me, these are things that I need in my collection and you will see later on when I file them properly. The next one is from Dallas, USA. Uh, so I open them like this so that uh, it's easier and faster for us to check out what's inside. And this one I got from eBay, I think, because I can see something already there uh, mentioning eBay. Yes, there we go. Some eBay tape. Oh, what is here that needs all of this? So on this one, we have gotten... Oh, hello! Oh, I hate this tape in the top loader. This doesn't work well. Well, anyhow, we take it off very gently. And we have gotten a Pikachu for my Pikachu collection. I will show it to you guys later, the Pikachu collection. Yeah, so this one away. The next one is coming from also USA. We've got a few from USA. I'm not sure if from the same place, but um, I think at least, yeah, this one is from the same place for sure because um, it does show already this eBay tape. I really didn't like this. It gets stuck to the top loader, so it's not so easy to take the card and you might even get some damage if you are not careful with it. Okay, so this one opens from this side. At least this one has a sleeve inside the top loader. So we got a fair alligator, non-holographic, to add to the collection. And the next one is, let's take it from here. Next one is from uh, the UK once more, from the United Kingdom. Let's see what we got here. We put it like this. 
and we have a card so we can advertise to these guys the collectors grading service so graded gem working with PSA graded gem check out their website thanks for your purchase you are very welcome thanks for the card I will add it to my um, collection of contacts another Pikachu look at that that is very nice very nice pop series 6 you see here very nice Pikachu from pop series 6 the next one we are going back to the US Milwaukee and let's see what we got in this one let me know what you think about um, this type of video it's the first time I do it I have more posts to open uh, so if you guys want another video I will open more posts for you guys this one comes in a sleeve a Xerneas sleeve uh, how to open this or Xerneas top loader I'm gonna do it like this oh look at that yes I'm gonna tell you the story about this so this is the carefully so this is the uh, bird trio tag team and uh, I did have one I even pulled it in one of the first videos that I recorded that video um, I could not upload unfortunately because the file was corrupted when I was editing it and not only that but my bad luck continued because uh, I damaged my trio uh, I made a big scratch on the back uh, as I was putting my stuff away so this took me so long to pull that I decided hey you know what I'm just gonna order one so the bird trio the uh, shiny version the uh, sorry the rainbow version all right we move on to the next one this one large letter and uh, it is coming also from the UK yes UK United Kingdom and we're gonna open it a little bit differently just to make sure that there is no damage it's actually something super nice this is fan made and look at this it's a uh, Pokemon magnet uh, or if you wish just to, to put it on your shelf like this and this was made by a fan a Pokemon fan can you see it nicely yeah um, and uh, it's a 3d printing this is wonderful I really enjoy this uh, let's put it here awesome I really like that one um, so thank you I was gonna advertise your channel but I don't see it here any anywhere next one is coming from Melbourne so we are going now I think we are going now to Australia and what we have here is uh, look at this yeah so again these are some yes 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 these are some uh, things that I was missing in my collection so for example this is one of those that I was telling you about that uh, I found out they weren't in the best condition possible so I got these to replace them so we have a Pikachu the other side we have an Abra or Abra how you want to call it so these are base set yeah uh, then we have an Elekid first edition and we have an Iglybuff also first edition you can see that it's, that it's first edition because it has this little symbol here saying edition one and uh, that's how you can um, you can know all right that one is done we move on to the next one and this next one comes from Poland so we are going a little bit all around the world in search of our Pokemon you gotta catch them all and sometimes they are in different countries please do not use scissors oh I just did but it was just in the package the tape comes off easily thank you and enjoy Wow, this is a this is a nice touch so thank you for writing this I wasn't gonna use uh, scissors of course I'm very careful with these but um, yes it does open nicely but uh, it's a very nice touch uh, when you're selling cards when you're selling singles I do sell singles myself um, on my eBay you can find it there red box collections 
and I do sell singles myself, and um, I like these little details. Pikachu for the collection! Look, another Pikachu for my collection. Uh, there's a little bit of um, wear and tear, but it's actually on the sleeve, it's not on the card. Here you can see better that the card is in good condition. So another Pikachu for my collection. Thank you. And the next one comes from Canada. Canada, what did you send us? Let's see. Ah, uh, yes. Also been expecting this one. Of course I did have it before, but the condition was not the best. And this one is mint. There's two cards inside, so we pull it as such. Yes, because I got the reverse hollow version as well as the uh, regular version. Uh, I'll take them off so you see them properly because the top loaders are a little bit scratched and it's difficult to see. So there you go. This is the regular version Mew and this is the reverse hollow. I would like to tell you uh, all the sets that they are from but most of the sets I can't still recognize by the uh, symbol. Is this Shining Legends? I'm not sure. I'm sorry guys. Uh, let me know in the comments below what are the sets of each one of these because I only know the older ones uh, and some of the new ones, not so much the the ones in the mid 2000s. Uh, I wasn't collecting as much as in the beginning and it, now. Next we go back to Canada and Canada has for us a Blastoise. Come here, look at Mr. Blastoise, non-holographic. The reason why I got these is because I have the holographic version, but like I told you, I have divided my collection now in a way that we have uh, Pokedex called uh, Pokedex Collection. Uh, we have a Pokedex Hollow and Pokedex Reverse Hollow, United States again. Um, so basically what I try to do is that I collect one Pokemon of each, ever made not one card of each but one pokemon of each of whatever edition and uh, then i i put them in in that folder uh one folder for the holographics one folder for the reverse holographics and one folder for the non-holo versions so that means that i have separated my collection that i had before and now i'm missing a lot of versions and then we have tca gaming check out their website uh there it is tcagaming.com um, and also they are nowadays giving you instructions on how to get PSA um, to grade your cards because PSA graded cards do increase in value most of the times and then we have another Pikachu holographic Pikachu promo Sun and Moon number 76 goes there to our pile and the last letter before we move on to the little bit bigger packages the last letter comes also from the USA and in this last letter we are going to find come out come out oh look another nice touch thank you a thank thank you seal on our letter we open it as so and this is from Collectible Produce. I won't give the address, but it does say here Collectible Produce. So check out um, this uh, company or this uh, person because they might have something you have been looking for. And we have a Gardevoir. And we have something in the back. I'm going to take this out. Ah, there it is. So we have a Typlosion and a Gardevoir both non-holographic. Yeah, again, so all of these are because I took the holographics that were uh, in my folder before, I took them to a new folder to make a new collection just of the holographics. And that made me um, have to get these non-holographic versions then to complete the collection. The next one, now we finish with Japan. I do buy quite a few things from Japan and today we have two packages if you like this type of opening, this type of um, video, let me know in the comments because I will do more uh, since I have more mail to open, but it's just too much to open in only one video. It's going to be too long. I like to keep my videos um, 
just about uh, 15 to 25 minutes, half an hour is the maximum, more than that, just a special video. So Japan, here we go. And this Japan pack will have, oh yes, yes, these are not so exciting but they are always needed. These are the perfect fit, um, standard size, perfect fit uh, sleeves and they are really, really good for your cards. So if you have tested, like me, many different types of sleeves, you know that sometimes they leave a lot of space on the sides so the cards easily fall. And also, when you put them in your folders, the sleeve might not fit, it kind of goes all wobbly. So these perfect fit um, ones are really, really good and I, I was missing them, I was needing new ones, so I got these now. And then, finally, well, this is quite light, so by the size of the box, I think I know what it is, and if it is what I think, we are going to end the video with a little song. Yes, you heard me right, a little Pokemon song. What do you think it is that is going to sing for us? Yeah, I never got these before, but uh, now I finally ordered them, and this is my first one arriving. Yes, and it's the great first one to arrive. Uh, it is Pikachu. My Pikachu Pop and Step has arrived. If you don't know these Pop and Step um, figures or um, promotions, let's call them, uh, they they make in Japan they make um, these little um, singing figures or in this case of course Pikachu is not singing but you hear the music the soundtracks of um, Pokemon and this is made by Takara Tomi so he does do a lot of Pokemon stuff we're gonna open this guy up I'm not going to leave him in the box because uh, yes it is it does have collectible value if you leave it in the box but I want him out. I hope that he has a battery. I think he does. Um, so that we can make him sing for us. Sing Pikachu. So here we go. This is a nice addition. Like if you wanted to uh, gift it to someone, you would, you would put this little card saying to the name of the person and from your own name. So this goes to the recycling. Uh, we will have the remaining ones coming in the post soon. Um, Squirtle, uh, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and yes, I also got the one that they made afterwards of Eevee. Yes, I know they're trying to kind of uh, push Eevee forwards to be like the, the fourth starter or something. Uh, sorry, the fifth starter or something, but hey, I like Eevee. Oh yeah, it does bring the battery inside and it has this very handy uh, pull-out thingy that allows it to work. So let's see if Pikachu will sing for us. Can the camera see him well? Not so well, but I'm going to put something here so that you guys appreciate him more. So we're gonna put him like this so you see and hear correctly. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is for you, the debut of Pikachu. Awesome. Yeah, so this guy can definitely stay in the back of our videos, making everything more interesting for us, especially when we have um, the whole set. Uh, so you, you can see the size of the figure against my hand, and uh, really, this is awesome. For collectors, I mean, yeah, come on, this is made of plastic, I know, and it's just uh, the songs from Pokemon, but you can't say that this is not amazing. I think it is. And with Pikachu singing and our new Pokemon 3D printing, I will leave you guys. This has been the Red Box. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next episode.